Hey, Lisa Loeb. Welcome back to the Mike Show. Hi, Thank Lisa. You. Do you have time to play five random questions with us again? Yes. Okay. All, All right. right. Here we go. Five random questions with Lisa Loeb. Question number one for Lisa Loeb. What was yes. your very first car you got when you were a kid, when you were old enough to drive the very first car that you got? I got my grandfather's old Buick LeSabre, like 1980s Buick LeSabre. Wow. My younger brother got it later, too. He called it the Loaf because it was like beige. Wow. A beige that. LeSabre. Which, it's, that would make a great album title, by the way. You might want to squirrel that away. <laughs> beige LeSabre. Perfect. Yeah. Question number two of our five random questions with Lisa Loeb. Who is more talented, Prince or Michael Jackson? Ooh, Ooh. More, more talented. Um, that's hard. That's not a really fair question. I mean, Prince is like an all-around singer, dancer, composer. Uh, that's a tough one. <sighs> instrumentalist. But Prince is like an amazing singer, dancer. I, that's I, tough. I, I, that's, that's like, that's not, that's like, who's your favorite child? You can't. <sighs> I immediately, I mean, my initial thought is Prince, because I think of him as a composer, and but Michael Jackson is such an amazing connector, the way he sings and dances. Um, oh, gosh. This is one of these questions that you're going to be thinking about like five hours from now. You'll still be thinking about it. You'll debate this all day long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> question number three, are leggings pants? Like yoga pants, should they be worn in public? Leggings. Um, yeah. I'm wearing a pair oh, right now, so I'm God, glad you said I'm that. I'm wearing a pair right now. Well, actually, that's funny. I, I have, I, again, I have mixed feelings about that. I think they should be worn in public, but you have to dress them up just right. I wore some leggings yesterday to go do a podcast, and um, I got some leggings that somebody gave me when I was on tour recently. It was a company that makes all these cute patterned, it's, it's all that, like, fat, that stretchy fabric, but it was very heavy, so you can't see through it. Um, and it was very cute because these are printed with boxes of chocolates on them, drawings oh. of boxes of chocolates. Very cute. And it was one of those things where you just feel like, wow, I can do anything I want. I'm wearing leggings out in public. I say that um, every Thursday. Yeah, you, gotta, you have to be very uh, picky and choosy and, you know, dress them up just right. Make sure you can't see through them. Question number four on our five random questions with Lisa Loeb. We love Lisa Loeb. What bug or animal freaks you out? What? Uh, what bug or animal? Ants. Ants? When I was little, um, my, my dad's from what, Sweetwater, Texas, out in West Texas. We were out, uh, one of the th fun things to do, this is, sounds like the old days, we were sitting <laughs> looking at the curb and I was just watching the ants and all of a sudden I started feeling them getting bitten all yep. over my body. Yep. And it freaked me out and ever since then I just... I really don't like bugs like that that like, bite you, like ants and mosquitoes. The Texas fire ants, they'll, they'll light you up. Yeah. I'm from the South, and I know what the fire ants are like. When they, isn't it amazing what we used to do before the Internet? You know, we used to just watch ants. Oh, yeah. No, we would sit <laughs> around and watch, ant, yeah. watch an ant hill. Yeah, exactly. Sort of check it out. <laughs> and our final random question with Lisa Loeb. What do you do with the end pieces of a loaf of bread when you're done with a loaf of bread? Oh, um, well, I am embarrassed to say yesterday I threw one away because I thought, no one's going to eat this. But I normally toast it and eat it. I eat, I eat toast with um, peanut butter every morning for breakfast or almond butter. And um, so I'll eat that. Also, you know what's really great to do with it is to use it for um, French toast or pan perdu. Oh, there you go. Oven baked French toast where you soak it in some, a little bit of egg with a little bit of milk. You soak it overnight and you take it out and, like, you know, get the extra excess off of there. You put butter on the pan, you put the bread in there, you bake it, and then you take it out and put um, cinnamon sugar on there. Oh, that sounds so good. But Lisa Loeb needs and delicious. a cooking blog. Yeah, because normally I throw I throw the ends out, but now I know what to do with them. Well, you know what else is really good with the ends is to cut it into cubes and saute it with a little tiny bit of butter. And, you know, you could do garlic or, or whatever and make little croutons. That's very good. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Now we'll I can it, keep you know, them. In a food processor, make fresh bread crumbs. We love having you on the show, Lisa Loeb. We really appreciate you uh, taking time to check by the uh, the Mike Show. Uh, check out her music, Amazon Music and Amazon Prime. Of course, LisaLoeb.com, uh, at Lisa Loeb on Twitter. And uh, again, thank you very much for uh, stopping. And the next time you're in Philly, Atlantic City area, come on by the show. We'd love to have you yeah. in, in, the, in the studio. Oh, that would be great. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> thank you so much.